So I'm here in an area known as Noda, north of Davidson Street. And of course, you'd know that if you're from Charlotte, North Carolina, to check out a little brewery where they're making eight to 14 different beers at a time. And I'm not really here for the beer. Yeah, right. I'm actually here because the chef is scratch making a menu that goes perfect with handcrafted beer. I mentioned they have beer. This is Heist Brewery. Chicken and waffle tacos up. Heist is definitely unique. The beer cheeseburger? They have great beer, and I don't think you can find better food. This is ridiculous that this is work, OK? But owner Kurt Hogan wasn't always this casual at the office. I'm a science guy. I was in uh, biopharma for a little bit. Then left to go back to business school. I was homebrewing at the time, and I decided to make my hobby a reality. I met awesome people. Who became partners, like head brewer Eric Mitchell and general manager Spencer Farrell. And then they added executive chef Scott Walker. We sampled some of his food, and we're just like, all right, this is a guy. Beer cheese up. Everything's made in house here. And they infuse their beers and a lot of their menu items. Even down to their not so basic burgers. Burger, burger, burger up. The burger, burger, burger is really yummy. Probably one of the best burger sliders I've ever had. I love the goat cheese and the bacon jam. All right, let's start it off. We're going to make our bacon jam. OK. Starting off with a little olive oil, raw bacon. Bacon is rendered down. We're going to add some mint shots. Got it. Some brown sugar and crushed red pepper flakes. Now in with the honey. And then our highest brewery house made beer. So stir this up. So let this cook down. At a low heat for about two hours, really bring in the beer flavor and get that jam consistency. I like the hoppiness. You get a little bit of heat in there, a little bit of sweet. This is all on burger, burger, burger. Yes, sir. I just had that on my hand, hand, hand. <laughs> all right, beer barbecue sauce. Start with our oil blend. I'm going to saute some garlic and bring out the aromatics. You watch too many cooking shows. <laughs> Add a little bit of onion. Tomato paste, cooking that out. Worcestershire sauce, and then we're going to do brown sugar, yellow mustard, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, plum tomato. And? Uh, high spirit. OK. Blonde ale. <laughs> did you just do a label turn? I did do In the middle turn. of the show? Oh, I'm sorry. And then? I van whited it. Don't take my lines. <laughs> Actually, if you could just grow a goatee and bleach your hair, you could cover the Monday shift. We are going to use our pole blender to bring all the ingredients together. For some reason, it seems like you make this in a little bit larger volume. Sometimes. I'll manage the cord. You dropped the hammer on that. This is all going to cook down how long? About 20 minutes. All right, Chef. So burger, burger, burger. We're going to start with our herb goat cheese. Buns are house-made brioche buns. Seriously? Yep. House you got that kind of time on your hands, son? All our own pretzels, all our own flat Seriously? Breads. You got some issues. We get our bacon jam. Tell me about the burger. Try blend, chuck, porter, and brisket. Got it. We're going to do our roasted tomatoes, a little bit of fresh arugula, the beer barbecue, top brioche bun. A lot of time and energy into this. It's good looking. That's legit going down. Look at that. It's not good unless you have to lick your fingers. What you put into one little burger is more than a lot of people put into the whole menu. I mean, you've got such great flavors. The goat cheese is cool. It's tangy, good acid, because you got a lot of sweet coming in from the bacon jam. Love the fat in the burger. The bun's delicious. It's nice, it's light. Flavor, design, attention to detail, creativity. Well done. Thank you. Great burger. Burger, burger, burger up. Definitely not your average slider. <laughs> so it's not like these two need any introduction, but this is a Triple D OG sitting right over here. This is Greg. Now, he was from the Penguin. Now he has pinkies. Yep. And then this character, well, you've not only seen him on Triple D, you've seen him on Triple G. So we all know George from Crazy Fish. How are these guys doing on their burger? Very good. Love goat cheese, uh, tomato jam. Good pairing with this uh, dark beer, too. Microbrews now are getting so built up, they're pretty high end. This still seems like a funky little joint that a couple dudes are running. It is. It's a great joint. You come here, have a great beer, great people around you, some tasty food. You don't always find breweries that have great food along with great beer. So here's the deal. We're in Charlotte, North Carolina, hanging out at Heist Brewery. Chef and I just knocked out Burger, Burger, Burger. What are we making next? Our duck confit flatbread. This is the best place in town for flatbreads. Duck is fantastic. Really unique flavor. We'll see you back in a minute, minute, minute. Minute, minute, minute. Usually takes three minutes. It's totally good. See you in a bit. Welcome back. We're hanging out at Ice Brewery. Ice Brewery, Charlotte, North Carolina. Of all the breweries here, this definitely has the best kitchen. Do you girls uh, normally go to breweries? 
We are from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, so we grew up with... Oh, that's right. Come to Milwaukee. <laughs> that's like giving the blessing on a brewery. And how's the food? Excellent. Flatbread's delicious, crispy, great flavors. Yep, duck confit. Duck confit flatbread up. Duck is not a common protein, but here it fits well with the overall menu. Flatbread with a duck confit? Yes, sir. All right, flatbread. High gluten, organic bread flour. Big bowl. Big bowl. Into a smaller vessel. Five bucks, some goes on the floor. Just start mailing in the money now. Yep. Oh, yep. Jeez, what a mess. All right, salt. High speed beer. Water. While the mixer's running, you're gonna add a little bit of oil. So five to 10 minutes, pulls away from the side of the bowl. Yep. Cut it into portions. And then let it proof in the walk-in overnight. Now we're getting a cone feed of duck. Whoa, the whole duck. Whole duck. He's gangster. <laughs> Salt and pepper. And a little bit of garlic. Yep, rubbed in. Duck fat. Nothing else. Beauty's in the simplicity. We let the duck speak for itself. Well, it's not doing much of that now. It's not quacking at all. Not when it's quacked up to me. <laughs> nope. We're going to wrap it with foil. And we're going to do this in the wood oven? A minimum of five hours. Pull it out, shred the meat. Then you use the leftover rendered skin and bones to make your next confit. Yes, sir. A nicely rolled out piece of flatbread. We're going to put a little bit of mozzarella cheese. OK. We got duck confit next. Nice little bit of duck in every bite. Pickled shallots. Our barbecue sauce? House beer barbecue sauce. Got it. How long is this going to take? Two minutes is what we're shooting for. Oven's running about 650. Yep. Bring it. That's nice and thick. So, duck confit. Some fried shallot. A little fresh chives. More barbecue sauce? Just to set the flavor off. Yeah. I want to know better with the richness and tanginess and the saltiness of what you're doing you might be inspiring people to drink more beer. I'm going out on a limb, and I don't know if you've thought of this. It's a side thought. It's delicious. The way you make your dough, the way you put it together, it's dynamite. The confit duck is just enough. That's a great dish. You're putting as much time and energy and enthusiasm and attitude towards the food as they are over there making the beer. Yes. You're doing it right, man. They got to love you here. Thank you, Chef. Congratulations, man. The uh, duck flatbread. The bread is crisp and flaky. Your barbecue sauce complements the duck confit perfectly, and then the fried shallots on top. Awesome. You're fine with inducting them into the Charlotte Triple D family. Oh, yeah. That's a big deal. Hands down. Cuban with fries. You guys are way too young. This yeah. is ridiculous that you get to drink beer and work. I heard that. Perfect. And your chef, this guy, is dangerous. For sure. Keep it up. I mean, try <laughs> to keep the stress level down. <laughs> we'll do what we can. Up next, meet the empanada emperor of Houston. And you are the maestro of the crazy band. Cook it straight from the heart for over 40 years. Give it a hug. We're going to hug it out. See you in a minute. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. No, do you have a wife? I'm working on that. What's your name? Kiffin. Kiffin? Yep. Is she fiance? Not yet. I have to ask. You just got to find the right time to do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, no time like the present, in my opinion. Uh, you could be right. So will you marry me? Yes. Oh. 